Okay, I'm in humanities class taking a test, and in the corner of my eye, I notice a very suspicioso looking book chilling underneath somebody's desk. And then a few seconds later, I see an equally suspicioso toe creep in and turn the page, and I'm like, oh, how cute. Somebody's cheating. See, in high school, if the teacher catches you cheating, you get an F in the class. In college, they kick you out of school, so it's a different ball game. So I will take my F like a house. Thank you very much. Then this girl Sarah takes a piece of paper and hands it back to my boy Sean sitting next to me. And I'm like, oh, Sean, I didn't know it was like that. I thought we was friends. He didn't even include me on this whole little cheating operation they got going on. But Sean sees me see him. And he comes up to me in the hallway after class. He's like, yo, Donde, uh, if you want, I could hand you the answers, you know, while we taking the test. And I looked up at him and I was like, night! And this would have been the first time that I actually get to be the free -fucker. See, cheating is an art, okay? So you don't use elementary cheat tactics in college. That's insulting. This is serious business, and when I get involved, junk gets real. And y'all already know, when I cheat, I go all out. I assemble a team, I get matching Mini Coopers for all of us, I enlist the aid of a tiny little Asian man to crawl through the ventilations, and by this point, I had already given up my bad boy ways. I'm on the road less traveled. Get up on my level. So I decline affiliation with this rudimentary, outdated cheating tactics. But next test, oh look, a lone book coincidentally open. I wonder how that got there. And it had been so easy for me to cheat because the teacher was not paying attention. We sat in the back row. At this point, it's free money. Imagine walking by an ATM and it's just spitting out money and everybody's going crazy. Oh my god, look at all this free money. And you're the only person being honest and not taking any of it. It was at this point that I devised plan B, because I saw where all this was going. Are you ready to become a millionaire? What's the number that you actually really dream of earning? David Bach, nine-time New York Times best-selling author and financial guru. If you save 20% of your income, you will be really rich. Has a plan. 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 200,000 a year. That could make you. Are you in favor of that? Yeah. Absolutely. An automatic millionaire. That is a secret to entrepreneurship that actually is that anything's possible. Powered by worldwide e-learning experts, ProU. I really desired to take the automatic millionaire brand to another level. Bach and company have created a proven, aggressive, automatic, personal finance program. If you're ready, then we have the roadmap for you to take to make the decision to act. That could seriously change your life forever. I would really like to see us create a million automatic millionaires. If you've got the passion. Do I think that that's possible? We've got the plan. I absolutely do. Are you ready to become the next automatic millionaire? I can show you a business here where you can grow your income and get your financial life together. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to build wealth. We're building community of entrepreneurs that want to be smart with their money. My goal is for all of you to become automatic millionaires. If we accomplish that, it would be enormous. So, are you in?